Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita at Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today, so let's get started. Hey, so today is episode 203, How to Set a Lovely Yet Simple Table. And the show notes for today's episode can be found at decoratingtipsandtricks.com slash 203. And this episode has been inspired by our listener, Jackie W. Jackie, thank you so much for your lovely emails. We really appreciate them. They're so encouraging and um, insightful. And you had a great episode suggestion. And now we're taking it and running with it today, (laughs) how to set a lovely and simple table. So Jackie sees all these beautiful tables on Pinterest and on the blogs and whatnot. And, you know, we must admit, ladies, sometimes we go a little over the top when we do our tablescapes, (laughs) you know, because you're doing, it's like a runway, like, you know, the fashion for the runway, like, you're probably not going to set your table like that every night. Uh, Maybe you're not even going to set your table exactly like that for all the holidays because you have to actually fit food on the table, right? But there is a way to set a lovely and simple table Mm -hmm. every night. And you just have a little, you have your items that you use and you have your formula of how you put it together. And then you can do that every night, even when it's a simple dinner, even when it's a, you know, a takeout pizza or something like that. Kelly, I think you said the magic word, and that Mm -hmm. is a formula. I think if you have a formula to work with, you can switch in and out different products. So I love that idea of giving our readers a formula they can use to set a successful table every time. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, give it up, lady. Let's hear it. Oh, well, I- <laughs> <laughs> teaser. Let's, okay. Yeah, let's what get right it? with it. Now, when I set a table, um, an every night table, I always use um, some kind of placemats because we have a wooden table and the mm-hmm. heat from the um, uh, our plates could really damage the wood. So if you have a wooden table, you might want to keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Uh, A table or a a runner. I like something cloth on my table or something. Now I have these really great um, oval wicker um, placemats that I'm using right now. They look really pretty. And because I'm using a wicker, I'm using, I also put a table runner on because I like the softness of some cloth as well. So I have a table runner on my table with the vignette in the center of it. So I keep that table runner on and then I just put my wicker placemats around. But if you're going to use cloth placemats, sometimes that's a little bit of an overkill depending on how big your table is and how much space you have. So you might want to do one or the other. Well, here's another idea. You were talking about placemats, and I think they're more popular than doing a tablecloth. A tablecloth feels a little formal sometimes. So I think uh, placemats are a great way to go. It's easier to pick them up and Mm -hmm. clean afterwards for day-to-day, just Mm -hmm. everyday use. Here's another idea similar to placemats if you want to have a little more elegant look, and that is to, let's say you have a table that seats two on each side. Mm -hmm. You could buy two table runners and stretch them across the short end of the table. And so they become placemats for each person. Oh, that's oh, a I really like that. lovely look. I've never done that. So mm-hmm. I think that's a fun way to go. It looks great as long as the t- as long as the table runners are not too terribly long. You don't want them dangling around and people stepping on them, but if they just hang over the table just a tad, mm-hmm. I think that's a great way to go. I've even seen a longer run used down the center of the table. So the head the heads at each end. Um, use use a table runner as well. But if you want to just use two, you can use two placemats that match or are complementary to the table runner that you're using. The the reason I love placemats though, if you get one little spill on a, or or something on a tablecloth, that whole tablecloth has to be washed. Let's say five of your six placemats look great. You only have to deal with one. Or, and I really like reversible placemats, just turn them over and use yeah. them unless, you know, unless, some, unless your wine is soaked through or something like that. So I think that's the first thing you have to think about putting something, um, putting something that is a fabric, something that's soft, because it really does make a difference on a table if you have some kind of linen or some kind of fabric on it. So you're going to either do it in placemats and runners or both. And, you know, we've talked about this before, but another nice thing to do, even if you're eating at home with just your 
family, you don't have any guests over, is to pull out some napkins, some linen ones or some cotton ones. And I think that would be a fun thing to have for dinner and it makes it feel more special. And then, you know, if you have, for example, white white ones, you can just throw them in with the bleach if there's something on them. And, Mm -hmm. you know, or the other idea is to come up with some beautiful black linen napkins and then you don't have to worry about those spots. Mm. Well, and here's another thing about that. You girls were talking about using that and we used to, you, I used to use um, uh, um, real cloth napkins all the time and we just got out of it. But I've got a, a, a curly Q um, buffet in my living room that has three drawers and they're just filled with napkins. And I'm thinking, why are they sitting here? I'm mm-hmm. going to use them. Right. So I pulled out blue, some blue and white for summer. And here's the thing. Most of the time, like if I'm, um, my sister-in-law came and she spent a week with me, my husband went on a golf trip. So it was just she and I. And so we just set, we just set with the, um, we had a, a runner and then I had two placemats and then I set out bl- these blue and white cloth napkins. We used them for like three days because, you know, you mm-hmm. don't get them filthy dirty. Now, if we were, if I was serving a spaghetti dinner, we just folded them back and put them at our place and left them there till the next time because they, there was nothing dirty about them. And we used our own napkins and, um, Oh, I guess by the third day, I had gotten some lipstick or something on it. And I just cleaned mine and got another one. So yeah. they're green. I mean, you know, they're really good for the earth. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So, and another thing I think that's fun to do, and it's so simple for everyday use, is to maybe put little, I like to have the little vases, a little bud vase at each table. And when I saw a little, just one of those short little vases, or maybe mm-hmm. it's a shot glass that's two or three inches tall and just clip some little flowers from uh, your shrub in the backyard, just enough to have a little flower at each person's place. And it doesn't cost anything. It's just from your own yard. And you know what, if it's that time of year, you don't have anything blooming, then cut some branches from one of your, uh, from something and just put that in just for a little greenery. Mm-hmm. I think a little that's bit a fun little something that mm-hmm. you could add to your table every night. Oh yeah. I have that on my list too. And even if you don't want to do it at everybody's place, which is super charming, Anita, you could just put one little bud vase with Mm. some boxwood clippings or something Mm -hmm. inside Mm -hmm. of it and put two candles on either side. I'm a firm believer in elevating the everyday in very simple ways and having two taper candles or Mm -hmm. one pillar candle on your table in the center and lighting that up right before your dinner starts really changes the atmosphere. Everybody I love looks that. better. Everybody, you know, it's oh, it's like almost like an indication to relax. Mm-hmm. You know, you could dim the lights a little bit, and you don't have to have you know romantic music and a whole sh- you know evening spread before you. Even if you have fifteen or twenty minutes to have dinner with your uh, significant other and your kids, or you know, if you're empty nesters, or even if you're sitting by yourself. Do Mm -hmm, it. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It takes no time at all. Kelly, I love that elevating the everyday. And I think that we really need to keep that in mind. And I love the idea we always have some kind of either a lantern or uh, candles. And like I said, I usually have a, a round basket with a vignette that has all kinds of things in it. But I have a salt and pepper shaker that are that are white. They're really cute on a little white um rectangular dish and I usually have some flowers. So when that comes off, the flowers go back on and the salt and pepper go back on. And that's an instant centerpiece right there. And then I add like my candles that are in, well, right now I have a, um, like almost like a mercury glass lantern. And so, and that goes on and that is, that's your instant centerpiece right there. Perfect. Yeah. So Now we're getting a little bit into the details and specifics. So Jackie Mm -hmm. and anybody else who's interested in what I'm doing to create a lovely and simple table every night. So generally during the week, we're eating in our kitchen. So that's on that marble crate and barrel table that we have in the center of the kitchen. And I usually have off to the side during the day, a small tray and Usually it has some flowers from Trader Joe's or something on it. Maybe it has a little piece of fruit or a little bowl of berries or something like that. So it's got two or three items going on. Sometimes there's a candle, something else. Okay, So that comes off. It gets sort of broken apart. My four woven placemats come out. 
and then very simple thrift store napkins that I, you know, bleached back to real whiteness. Those are the ones I use every day. And I don't care if the kids, you know, get marinara sauce on them. If after a few washes, they don't look good, I toss them. So those go down, you know, the the cutlery. And then back in the center, I take that little tiny vase of flowers. Uh, and then I take two taper candles that are usually sitting on my formal dining room table. Just walk into the room, plop, put them down. That's it. But wow, what a difference. And then I'll put the plates down. And if if somebody was coming for dinner who wasn't in my immediate family, I would probably add a little more layering. And I think that's really where you know you can get creative in a very simple way on a daily basis. You might not want to pull out the chargers, but maybe if you're setting the table, you're going to put the salad plate on top of the other plate. And then maybe you're going to put the napkin in a ring and set that on top of it. And it's really just positioning things on the table a little bit differently to to build it up in this layered way so you add some dimension. You're not really necessarily adding something you wouldn't have had there. You're going to have a napkin. It's just that you're maybe putting it in a ring or you're maybe tying it in, in a little loose knot or you're doing something else and you're putting it right on top of the, the two plates. I think that does a lot. Mm-hmm. I love the idea that you sort of deconstruct what you already have to build a table. And even if you had things and even if you had um, those napkins in a napkin ring in a vignette that you could literally pull that all apart and stick it around the table, that would be such an, not only a lovely, but an easy way to do things as well. Yeah, it's so easy. Mm-hmm. I mean, I really, it takes two steps this direction, two steps that direction mm-hmm. and I'm done. Mm-hmm. And, and it's just what we do. And my girls are so used to it. Every, you know, we've always had candles on the table. If they're not there and they come down and, you know, they've done with their homework or whatever, they're helping me. I don't have to say, go get the candles. And they don't have to say, where do you keep the candles? You know? Mm-hmm. Yes, <laughs> they, they, know. they know. They actually know where they are. They don't know where a lot of things are, but they know where they are. Yeah, that's, <laughs> well, that's a great good. idea. You know, another fun thing to do if you don't have flowers or you don't want to go outside and get those cuttings, maybe you don't even want to walk outside. So another thing you can do is just to grab some fruit from your house and Mm. put it on the table. I like to use a very long they're the baguette proofing boards. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know about? exactly what they are. Yeah. And so I have some, they are they are vintage baguette mm-hmm. proofing boards. So they are long, long, long skinny boards. This is where they would put the dough to let it rise for a baguette. Okay. So they're not rounded. They're, so it's not like a long bread bowl. They're flat. They're, well, they're, they're curved on the side. They're curved. They're hollowed out just a tad. Just enough for that bread dough to sit in it, but you know they're they're, only, they're very shallow, maybe an inch indentation. Well, I, so I think that's what I have, but I've been calling it a bread bowl. It's super, well, but my, this super is, long and thin, like a baguette could lay in it. Yeah, mm. well, this is. I mean, mine are like three to four inches wide, and and then the other direction yeah. they're like three and a half, three feet. Yeah, that's a baguette proofing board, girlfriend. Yeah, who knew? <laughs> so then, yeah, I like to Got put pear- I like to put pears in there. And set them in mine. Avocados in mine. And look, honey, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you could put some vases in there. You could put candles. And if you don't have that, here's the thing. So you might say, I do not have access to an antique baguette proofing board. Well, guess what? But maybe you do. Maybe you just don't even know you have it. (laughs) Well, or yeah, yeah, some people don't know what it is. But the other thing you can do is cut or buy somewhere a long, narrow piece of wood. And you can use it the same way. I mean, it's really such an adorable way. If you have a nice long table, I think it looks so lovely. Mm -hmm. And they have very long cutting boards too that you can get to put things on. Uh, I think that, you know, I think Kelly, you said that you can layer, like put put your everyday dishes and put then a salad dish on top of that. I think that's Mm -hmm. a fabulous idea. The only... The only uh, part of our meal that usually comes to, and I'm, we're talking about like an every day or every night table, is a big salad bowl with salad in it or a long dish that has a lot of um, uh, crudite or olives or artichoke hearts, something like that. Everything else we serve from the island. So I don't have to put food on the table. And I sort of don't like to put food on the table only because it mm-hmm. just crowds that table. And I think yeah. it's nice if everybody can get up, like we'll do our salad first and then everybody can get up and serve themselves. And if you're doing meat that needs to rest, serving, like take it out of the oven, 
put it, I put it on my island, tent it, and then we have salads. So by the time we're done, that's like the perfect time to cut a piece of meat. It just seems to work. So you're, so my everyday, um, well, I don't really serve, I, I can't even remember the last time I served a lot of food on a table because I have an, a big island and that is just usually where I serve everything from. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash DTT and use the code DTT. That's dosedaily.co dot co slash DTT and use the code DTT. Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. I saw something really pretty on Pinterest, and I can't remember with the account, but I think this would be so pretty to have on your table and so super easy to do. So you could cut some sprigs of some herbs if you have some fresh herbs, or maybe you bought some, or maybe you just cut some greenery from your yard. But you fill a bottle up with water, and you push that down in the water, and then put a candle in the top of the bottle. Oh, how what cute a clever is that? idea. I thought it was so adorable. Mm -hmm. A candle Mm -hmm. on top of the bottle? Well, the candle acts like a stopper in the top. So it would be like a a narrow topped bottle. Yeah. Like, well, remember those old Italian, what were the Chianti bottles with the candles? (laughs) Right. But these are are clear glass. So you can see the herb in the glass. Oh, that's so cute. These are clear bottles. Kind of like that, but clear. And then you can see the herbs in the water and then the candle in the top. Yes. Kind of reminds you of the Mm -hmm. Chianti bottles. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Well, that was a look. We're, we're talking I, glass. Made me think about like table glassware for the table, and I, I purchased over the last few years some really sturdy but really beautiful glassware, and it's stemmed, and we use it for every day. But but I used it with the table. I bought it with the table in mind. Now I'll put the link to that in the show notes. There, it's like a, a glass bubble bubbleware on a stem. So it's really pretty. And I think it's so important to have some nice, 
even in your everyday, have nice drinking glasses. I have shorter ones for drink and taller ones like for a, a water. And then also, you know, our wine glasses or whatever can come over or our cocktail glasses can come over to the table as well. But, uh, you know, I just keep them in my, in my cabinet. And I've, I've, uh, changed out all of my glassware over several years to these bubble glasses. So no matter what I want, everything matches and looks nice even for every day. Yeah. And you know where you can get great glassware is at thrift stores. I don't know. People maybe just have too much and they get rid of it Mm -hmm. or people have crystal and they don't want it or, you know, grandma passes away, great grandma passes away and nobody has room for more glasses. And so somehow they make their way to all these thrift stores. You would be hard pressed to go into a thrift store and not have a giant shelf of glassware. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. yeah, head over and usually you could get them for each like under a dollar. And sometimes you're getting cut crystal glasses that, you know, it had you registered for them. They'd be $125 at glass, <laughs> you know, and you're getting mm-hmm. them for 75 cents or something like that. So I've gotten a ton of beautiful glasses that way. And you know, then if they Somebody clanks them or they break, you know, oh, well, yeah. you know, you go head back to the thrift store. I it, So that's a great way to flesh out your collection and mm-hmm. also sort of, again, elevate the everyday instead of just having, you know, a jelly glass that you got a, you know, a set of eight <laughs> at Target, you're drinking out of a cut crystal glass. Pretty mm-hmm. fab, right? And, and you know, yeah, this yeah. is so interesting. Mm-hmm. You're talking about thrift stores. You could also get um, silver flatware. Very, very, very plate. Yeah, silver plate flatware. Mm -hmm. Very inexpensively. I mean, I've got. Yeah, I have quite a few sets. Mm -hmm. They're not worth much money anymore. People don't, you know, they're but they're you know easy to find on eBay or someplace like that. And they're beautiful. They're beautiful. I love using them. And you know, silver is supposed to be antibacterial. So there you go. Oh, that's true. Now, I for my everyday, I don't have silver plate, but I thought, I thought I was going to do that, but I did make an investment. This is where I did make a a good investment in a great stainless steel steel. I have Napoleon B stainless steel, um, every day. And I have a setting of 18. Now I got a set for mother's day one year and I bought myself one uh, just out of my paycheck from working. And I forget where I got the other, how I got the other one, but I have enough sets now. I have enough that if I even want to use it on a buffet table, when we're having a big gathering, um, I can use that. But that's something that I, I really like to have either a nice silver plate or just really good flatware, because I just think it makes such a difference when you're eating food. Well, we are going to have a new source for all of you for your table textiles and pillows and all sorts of things. You know, we told you something really exciting was coming um, your way from us, from us to you with love. We have created a lot of designs and we decided to open up the decorating tips and tricks shop. So the three of us have come, put our heads together and our design sensibilities and we have come up with some fabulous designs all with beautiful fabrics and again all with you in mind and so we'll have napkins and tablecloths and placemats and pillows and runners and all sorts of things and even things for the bedroom as the months roll on. We are opening the store. The grand opening ribbon cutting will be on May 21st. And if you want to be one of the first people that see what we're rolling out for you, head over to decoratingtipsandtricks.com, our usual website where you look at the show notes. And up on the right-hand side, you'll see email sign up. Sign up for our email there. And as soon as the shop goes live, you'll be getting email from us showing you our first collection. So we couldn't be more excited. Everything is high quality, made in the USA. We have curate, designed, curated, looked over, you know, tugged at seams, zipped and unzipped zippers and checked everything out. So we know that we can be really confident in bringing you the best that we can bring to you. And we are super excited about it. Yes, we are. So again, head over to decoratingtipsandtricks.com. Put your name on our email list and we'll be getting that um, very exciting 
email out to you with our first collection on May 21st. Yay! <laughs> Yay, and free shipping. Oh, what yes, a bonus. Yes, free mm-hmm. shipping. Mm-hmm. Love that free shipping because shipping can really do you in. I know sometimes I put things in my cart and then realize what the shipping was and said, mm, delete. Suddenly it's double. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So yeah, so uh, so Jackie and everybody else that wants to create a lovely and simple table will have some new options on the horizon coming at them soon. Another tip that I have for doing a simple everyday table, but making it lovely is something we have discussed about our kitchen counters and things that we leave out. Put the things you use in pretty containers. Yes. I know it's a hassle to squirt the ketchup into something that's more attractive, but <laughs> do it. <laughs> right? Really? It mm-hmm. makes a difference. So I do it. I have all these little, uh, these little tiny, tiny bowls that I got at Anthropology at some point. I didn't mm-hmm. even know what I was going to do with them when I got them, but they were just so darn cute. And so I got a bunch of white ones. I think at some point I had a bunch of red ones when I was, you know, in my autumnal phase. And I just did she say autumnal ketchup. again? Autumnal, I did. Oh. Uh, so I squirt the ketchup out, and I'll squirt them as to say we're having burgers, and I might squirt some barbecue sauce. I sometimes have to get up in the middle of the meal and squirt some more if, if it's a particularly mm-hmm. ketchupy night. But you know what? <laughs> I <laughs> I don't mind because I don't want to see the giant ketchup. T- oh, I so table. agree with that. I have these. I have the little bowls too, not from Anthropology. They're different. They're all white. But I have these darling little um, rectangular uh, bowls that there's three sections in each one. And so oh, that's could, good. Like like uh, ketchup, mustard, relish, or olives, artichokes, and nuts, or something that we can fill up. And it makes, yeah, mayo, you know, whatever. Um, It makes such a nice presentation. And I usually, I have two sets of them. So one set for the one side of the table and one set for the other. And that works out great. That is really smart. And Mm -hmm. so that might not be... You know, all that convenient. It is easier. You open up the fridge and bump, you put the condiments down. So if it's that kind of night, maybe just corral them on a on a cute little round tray or something mm-hmm. like that. You know, just do a little something to elevate it. <clears throat> but something that is super convenient and we want to remind you about is our sponsor, Lola. Lola is the 100% organic feminine protection company started by women and is so convenient because Lola delivers right to your door. You don't have to compromise. You don't have to go to the store and you can customize. So you can get exactly what you need at your door when you need it. You can set the products that you want, the frequency of which you de- you get your deliveries. And so you get a personalized package every time. And you know what? There's not a lot of regulation in that industry. So Lola is assuring you that every single bit of their products are 100% organic. So if that's important to you and what you eat and what you put on you know, in your body or what you put on your face for makeup, it should be important in this department as well. So head over to mylola.com and use the code DTT and you're going to get 40% off your first purchase. So again, it's mylola.com. Your promo code is DTT for 40% off your first purchase. One other thing that I do, aside from the condiments, is I have told you this, I believe I am a Maldon sea salt girl. Mm, Yes. It makes all the difference in the world. So if you haven't tried it yet, please give it a whirl. And what I do is I put it in, you have to put it in something because it doesn't go in a salt shaker. The The flakes are way too big to come through the holes. So you have to put it in some sort of salt cellar or something like that. So I put mine in a little uh, silver uh, sugar uh, container, you know, with a cute little lid. Mm-hmm. And so that sits on my, out of my counter. It actually sits on the little shelf on my stove. And then every night that arrives on the table as well. So instead of having just, you know, a salt and pepper shaker, some of them are super pretty, but because I use this bigger salt flake, I need to have something else that it goes in. So if you also uh, use sea salts and things like that, think about what pretty interesting Mm -hmm. containers you could put them in. 
Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor. And I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Mm, oh, that's a fabulous idea. idea. I have that in my cupboard and I sometimes finish a dish with it, you know, as I, that's sitting there, not, I don't cook with it, but I never, you know, you told me that before, but I've never put it on the table and that's something I'm going to have to do. The night, here's the fun thing about doing this podcast. I learn so many tips and then I can oh, use them in my house. Yeah, yeah. I've learned a ton too. I know. And ha- heard so many funny stories and that just make me chuckle like Anita. Your sofa story still makes me chuckle oh. when I think about it. It's such a cool story. So I'm learning and laughing. And this is what we hear from our, our reader, our listeners a lot. Oh, I learned so much, but I'm really laughing along with you. And we do that too. Mm-hmm. So, okay. Thanks for that mold on um, salt tip again. I'll definitely do that today. And speaking of tips, if anybody's got some tips, please send them in to us. We would love to share them with everybody. Um, We've got a jam-packed show today, so I didn't have a tip. I have a lot of questions that have come in recently when I'll be getting to the answers, and we'll probably be doing another listener uh, episode, listener question episode soon. We haven't Mm -hmm. had one in a little bit. We did two back-to-back because we had so many questions. Mm -hmm. So if you have some great tips... Send them in and so we can feature you on an episode. And here, let me just also, I have another tip about setting a simple and lovely table. I have um, white dishes that I use all the time, but you know, don't get so set in your ways. And sometimes I think, oh, I really would like to put a different, um, you know, either plate or a salad plate or something different on the table. Use what you have. Rotate your things. I just um, remember I told you I was replacing the buffet in my dining room. Mm-hmm. The new one came Ooh. and all my wedding china was in my uh, yellow buffet. And I'm thinking, oh, I've not used this for so long. And we have like 24 place settings. Oh but I gosh. thought, oh, wouldn't it be fun to use just during the summer? Um, when we're inside. And so I think I may be using that this summer. So if you've got um, dishes that you just don't use, bring them out to set a lovely everyday table. Don't forget to do that. 
I'm so glad you said that because the other day I have it in my notes too. And I just, you know, sort of glossed over it. The other night we were having burgers. And so I was, you know, putting my condiments in my little holders and everything. <laughs> and everything was in the dishwasher or, you know, we just, it was one of those Saturdays where everybody was home and everybody was hungry all the time. So I was down to the last couple of dishes in my stack and I pulled mm-hmm. it out. And the last few dishes I had were, uh, two California plates, like, you know, those steak oh, plates. Yes. Yeah. I saw mm-hmm. that you had them on your Instagram. Yeah, So I, I put it on yeah. Instagram and it was so funny. Cause I, it was just so like, I was like, I have to snap a picture of this. This is fun. Um, and I got such a response to that. It really resonated with people, which I thought was funny. Cause I thought like, who they're going to think I'm so cheesy. Like I collect steak <laughs> plates. Like what? But I do collect steak plates. I don't mm-hmm. use them, but I, because I was sort of out of dishes, I put that and I said, we'll use those for the salad. And so we had, I can't remember. I know I have a lot of Minnesota. So I was Minnesota, California, I Florida, and I can't remember what the fourth state was. So everybody had a different plate. And I, I do that with the girls. I've done that with them when they were little. I would serve their lunch mm-hmm. on a different state and they thought that was just so fun or we would make cookies and I would put it on one of the the bladders. That's a state thing. And they thought that was so fun. But I never really used them regularly as dinner plates. And it was so fun. I mean, it sparked a little conversation. I and, bet. you know, I'm sure if you did that when you had other company, maybe you could even get it where, you know, if they were people from out of state, you could have a state plate for them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, <but laughs> that would I be thought, so fun. Well, why not use, you know, your sort of one-offs or, you know, I know Anita Mm -hmm. has so many dishes too that she Mm -hmm. likes to collect. Like, you know, why not just go pink one day or, you know, go blue or something and just pull them out, use them for side salads, use them for the bread plate or something like that, or just stack them on top because it's pretty and you're layering and you're adding dimension to your table. And, you know, if you're, that's exactly right. And I think the easiest way to do it with, is with a smaller plate and it gives it a lot. You just, it's just fun. It's just absolutely fun. It's something different and charming as well. Um, we really love to get your questions and I hope that you can find a formula uh, for setting a lovely table every day that works for you. Remember, we are here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time.